Now to discuss the theorem in question, the Brahmagupta theorem. The Brahmagupta theorem states that in an inscribed quadrilateral having perpendicular diagonals, the perpendicular from the midpoint of a side to the opposite side passes through the point of intersection of the diagonals. Are you confused? That seems like a very long and confusing theorem, but it's actually really simple. Let's break it down. Let's look at our circle with inscribed quadrilateral A, B, C, D. When line AC is perpendicular to line BD and line EF is perpendicular to line AD where EF intersects at point G, then line BF is equal to line CF. Now let's prove it. We're given that line AC is perpendicular to line BD and line EF is perpendicular to line AD, where EF intersects at point G. What we need to find is that line BF is equal to line CF. First, let's look at angle FBG, which also equals angle CBD. This angle also equals angle CAD because they share the same arc. Angle CAD plus angle AGE equal 90 degrees by our triangle sum. We'll also find that angle DGE plus angle AGE equal 90 degrees because line AC is perpendicular to line BD, which is given to us. By using these two equations, we find that angle CAD equals angle DGE, and that angle DGE equals angle BGF by vertical angles. Therefore, triangle BFG is isosceles because of our theorem 2 of isosceles triangle. Therefore, BF equals FG. Next, let's look at angle FCG, which equals angle BCA. This also equals angle BDA because they share the same arc. Angle BDA plus angle DGE equal 90 degrees because of the triangle sum. And angle AGE plus angle DGE equals 90 degrees because line AC is perpendicular to line BD, which was given to us. By looking at these two equations, we find that angle BDA equals angle AGE and angle AGE equals angle FGC by vertical angles. Therefore, we find that triangle CFG is isosceles by our theorem 2 of isosceles triangle. Therefore, line FG is equal to line CF. And by looking at our results, we see that line BF equals line FG and line FG equals line CF. Therefore, line BF equals line CF, proving the Brahmagupta theorem. This has been Team Cat with Amelia Rector and Ty Tran, brought to you by Math 3321 at the University of Texas at Dallas during the spring 2015 semester. 
I'd like to acknowledge our amazing professor, Dr. Muhammad Akbar, and note the book that we use to help prove this theorem, Geometry for College Students by I. Martin Isaacs. I hope this video helped you to understand the Brahmagupta theorem better. It seems like a long and difficult theorem to prove, but once you know the basics, it's very simple. Thank you for listening.